In this video, we're going to prove the quadratic formula. So you've probably used it loads of maths lessons, or you may have just been introduced to it by your teacher, but the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Um, you may have just been given it, but where does it come from? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by uh, writing down a quadratic. So a quadratic is something in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, so that's um, a quadratic equation where you've got a quadratic and you've got it equal to zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do completing the square on this. So if you don't know completing the square, you haven't seen it, I'd recommend you watch the video on completing the square in Corbett Maths before you carry on watching the rest of this video. So first of all, because this equation equals zero, I'm going to divide it through by a. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each of the terms by a. So ax squared divided by a would just be x squared plus uh, bx divided by a, now you could write bx over a, but instead you could write b over a x. A bit like if I had 3x and I divided it by 4, I could write 3x over 4, but I could also write 3 quarters x. Okay, so I'm going to write b over a x, like so. Plus, I'm going to divide this term by a as well, so it's going to be c divided by a, and that equals, well, 0 divided by a is just 0. So we've just divided through by a there. Next, what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to do completing the square on this, okay? So, to do completing the square, well, I write my x in the bracket, plus, and then what I do is I half the coefficient of x, so I'm going to half this term here. So, if I'm halving b over a, well, that would be the same as b divided by a, and halving it is the same as dividing it by 2, well, that's going to be b over a um, divided by 2 over 1. And remember, to divide by a fraction, you do keep change flip, so I'm going to do 6 or six, sorry, b over a times by a half. And if I times m, b times 1 is b, and 2 times a is over 2a like so. So half b over a is just b over 2a. And I'm going to close my brackets and I'm going to write squared, like I would do for completing the square. And then I'm going to subtract this term squared. Well, this term squared, well, if, if I square a fraction, that's the same as multiplying it by itself. So in other words, you just square the numerator and square the denominator. So b squared, well, that's going to be b squared over, and 2a times 2a would be 4a squared. So I've just squared this fraction and subtracted it again. That's what you're doing, completing the square. Watch the video if you need to. And then you add on the term on the end, so plus c over a, and that equals zero. You may see parts of the quadratic formula sort of coming out here, but what we're going to do is we're going to carry on. Let me just get rid of this rough working out. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring both of these terms to the other side to leave me with x plus b over 2a, close bracket squared, equals. Well, if I add b squared over 4a squared to both sides, I would just go to the other side and you'd get b squared over 4a squared. And then if I take this away from both sides, if I take away c over a from both sides, it would become minus c over a, like so. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually work out this um, sum on the right hand side. Right hand side, I'm going to subtract c over a from b squared minus uh, b squared over 4a squared. In other words, I need to give it a common denominator. So that would become well, my, it's still x plus b over 2a close bracket squared, and I'm going to give these a common denominator. Now, if I've got 4a squared and a, I'm going to times top and bottom of this fraction by 4a. The reason I'm choosing 4a is because then the denominator will become 4a squared. So let's do that. So timesing, timesing c over a, both the top and the bottom by 4a would give you 4ac on the top because 4 4a times c would be 4ac, and on the bottom 4a times a would be 4a squared. So I've given them a common denominator. Next, let's combine it as a single fraction. So I've got x plus b over 2a, close bracket squared, equals, and if I subtract this, or combine it as a single fraction, you're going to get b squared minus 4ac, all divided by uh, 4a squared. Okay, next, well, I'm going to square root both sides, as you would do whenever you're doing completing the square to find, uh, to solve it, you would square root both sides. So you're going to get x plus b over 2a, equals and remember it's plus or minus and then it's the square root of the whole thing so that's b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared now if you square root a fraction for instance if i wanted to square root um 16 
over 25, I could just square root the numerator and square root the denominator. So that would give me four fifths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually square root this. Okay. So I'm actually just going to go up back up to the top of my page here. Okay. So coming up here. So coming back up to the top here. Um, here, so if I square root the numerator and square root the denominator, let's see what that would give me. So x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus. Uh, now the top line I cannot square root because if I've got b squared minus 4ac, well that would just be the square root of b squared minus 4ac. But the bottom line is a square number, four time, uh, 4a squared. Well if I square root that, that's going to give me 2a. As you can see, the quadratic formula is starting to form. Okay, so just to remind you what I've done there, I've square root of the top line, but because it's two terms with a subtract sign, I've just got to do the square root over the whole thing. But the square root of 4a squared, well, 2a times 2a is 4a squared, so that would just be 2a in the denominator. Next, I just want to get what x is, so I'm going to take away b over 2a from both sides. So it would give me x equals, well, taking this away from both sides, b over 2a, I'm not going to put it on the end because, of it, because I've got the plus and the minus, I'm just going to put it in the front. So if I take it away from this side, it would become minus b over 2a. And I'm going to put it in front of the plus and the minus, and then I've got the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now this is great because the bottom, uh, the denominators of both of these fractions are the same, they're both 2a, so I can actually combine them. So my top line would become minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and that's all over 2a. And there you go. So we started off with a generic uh, quadratic equation. So something like ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. We just done completing the square on it. Dividing through by a first, doing completing the square. And what we found is we got the quadratic formula. So that means that we can just substitute in the values for a, b, and c into this equation, this formula, and we'll find out the values of x. And that's it. So that's where the quadratic formula comes from.